Hey everybody, welcome back to Grandparents React. I'm Wanda. And I'm Ricky. And today we are reacting to another Sabaton song. Mm. We were just recently introduced to them by one of our viewers and uh, really enjoyed it. We yes. didn't know until we started watching that it, that it was actually about a battle history, mm -hmm. a battle that happened in history. And evidently a lot of their songs are about historic and wars. Here I am. I love history. He loves history. And we both enjoyed the music and the video mm -hmm. was really amazing. And uh, since then, we've had a lot of our viewers to recommend one called Christmas Truce. And that's what we're doing today. If you uh, enjoy our reaction, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Yes. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to our channel because that Please really helps us do. out. We need all we can get. Yes. And let me tell you who all uh, recommended that we do this song. We have uh, John D'Amato, Peter Vinkman, Cowpoke, Peter Kinsborn, Kinsborn, I'm sorry, Peter Kinsborn. Dan Jackness, Chris O, Jason Marshall, and Saint Cynicism. So I really appreciate all of you recommending this yes. song. Uh, we're doing the animated version, which at least one person had recommended we do that one. So uh, I know there's also a, a, a video that they did besides this uh, live action one, but mm. this one was most recommended. So, uh, you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and get your headphones on. It's the night of December the 24th, 1914, on the Western Front. The industrial might of the new 20th century has been focused into a war that has been going on for five months. Everyone thought it would be over by Christmas, but sadly, such hopes have now died alongside the young men in the clinging mud and cold of the trenches. Can you imagine the misery of that cold? On the run-up to Christmas, Pope Benedict XV begged the warring governments to call a truce and asked that the guns may fall silent, at least upon the night the angels sang, but it was no use. In the trenches, sometimes just 30 meters apart, the men of both sides often shout insults to each other above the sounds of battle. I can't imagine that. On Christmas Eve, a cry comes over from the German side in broken English. Tomorrow, you know shoot, we know shoot. You know shoot, we know shoot. The British and French are incredulous. Then along the trenches, there's a movement. But instead of seeing the sight of men going over the top, this time, pushed up above the top of the trenches, Christmas trees start to appear along the German lines. Ha! Oh, wow. Lit up by flickering candles. Is it a ruse? Could it be real? Could the regular soldiers on the front lines make a peace at Christmas when the church could not? Have you heard this story before? Uh -uh. On the wind, drifting across no man's land, there's a sound of hope and cheer as Christmas carols oh, cool. are sung. The gentle murmur becomes stronger and is picked up by more and more of the soldiers. As Christmas Eve becomes Christmas Day, the British and French join in too. As the morning draws, there's silence. In a farmhouse a short distance away from the front line is 18-year-old Scotsman Alfred Anderson. He vividly recalled that Christmas day and said, I remember the silence, the eerie sound of silence. Only the guards were on duty. We all went outside the farm buildings and just stood listening. And of course, thinking of people back home. All I'd heard for two months in the trenches was the hissing, cracking and whining of bullets in flight, machine gun. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the video. Sometimes here on YouTube to get around the uh, copyright restrictions, we have to do a lot of editing. And if you're seeing this interruption video, it's because this particular video we had to do a lot of editing on. Uh, watch to the end and you can find out how to watch this full reaction video without the interruptions. Now back to your video. 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's so bizarre. Even though nobody felt merry. Basketball? They thought it was a bomb. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Quite the voice, doesn't he? Of the many months on the battlefield, and we were used to the violence. Then all the candles went silent. That is so cool. And the snow fell. Voices sang to me from no man's land. Oh, wow. And they're gonna play soccer. We're all brothers tonight, we're all friends. Our moment of peace in a war that never ends. Today we're all brothers, we drink and unite. Now Christmas has arrived and the snow turns the ground white. Hear carols from the trenches, we sing a holy night. Our guns play to rest on the snowflakes. Our Christmas in the trenches, our Christmas on the front. Can it always be like that? Huh? So why can it always be like oh, that? Oh no. someone who doesn't care about learning history actually be interested to search more into the story behind this. Tomorrow, are they going to have to go back to killing each other, these people that they've met? Everyone. Yeah. 
He ain't watching <laughs> this. <laughs> I hope that really happened. <laughs> Keeping a list, isn't he? Our moment of peace in a war that never ends. Today we're all brothers, we drink and unite. Now Christmas has arrived and the snow turns the ground white. On Christmas on the front line, we walk among our friends. We don't think about tomorrow, the battle we... Oh, wow. Did they really... Are there really pictures? That's when we celebrate That's sort of happy and sad. And then back to reality. There were many matches along the lines that day, some with proper footballs, some with bully beef cans. Some were disorganized scrambles for the ball. Robert Graves reported that in his match, the Germans won 3-2. The Argyle and Southern Highlanders reported their match ended 4-1 to Scotland. An estimated 100,000 men took part in the Christmas truce. Wow. Wow. As the men moved back to their trenches, Captain Charles Stockwell took it upon himself to fire three shots skyward. He raised a flag upon which was written, Merry Christmas. His German opposite raised a flag that read, Thank you. The two men then stood on the ramparts and saluted each other. Wow. Alfred Anderson, the young Scotsman, survived the war and lived to the age of 109. Oh, wow. He said of the end of the truce, the silence ended in the early afternoon. It was a short peace in a terrible war. But one of the most remarkable quotes comes from a young soldier who, despite being away from his family for the first time, said of the events on that day, I wouldn't have missed it for the most gorgeous Christmas dinner in England. A Merry Christmas from everyone at Yarn Hub, and the final words go to the members of Sabaton. Merry Christmas! I didn't, I wasn't aware of a Christmas truce like that. That is, of course, if I had paid attention in history in high school, I might know more than I do. But that's a really cool story, even yeah. though, you know, it's tragic because then the next day they had to go back to slaughtering each other. And it's, it's just very sad. War is always sad. But, um. There's always evil people in the war in the world to get this stuff started. Yeah, and there's you know sometimes it's not necessarily good against evil, but just one side against the other for land or for power. But anyway, the music was great again. I know you really like his voice, don't yeah. you? Yeah, it's really cool. Very sounds very manly, very appropriate for the I war stories. That. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. If you have another Sabaton song or another group that you would like for us to react to, be sure to put it in the comments below. Yes, if please you, do. If you enjoyed this reaction, give us a thumbs up, which is the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we need subscribers. Subscribers. Very good. Right. And if you want to click the notifications bell, that will send you a reminder whenever we put up a new uh, video. And... Um, I don't think that this one is going to flag us on the copyright, so we hopefully won't have to do too much editing. Uh, but if we do, uh, we will put the full reaction 
and it will also go up first on our Patreon account. If you become a patron, you can see it there at uh, patreon.com slash grandparentsreact. But it's completely free to watch and subscribe here on YouTube. Yeah. And I appreciate all of you. All right. Thanks. Peace. Bye. <laughs>